Dear sir, I write this note to you to tell you of my plight. And at the time of writing, I am not a pretty sight. My body is all black and blue, my face a deathly grey. And I hope you'll understand why I am not at work today. While working on the fourteenth floor, some bricks I had to clear, and tossing them down from such a height, proved not a good idea. The foreman wasn't very pleased. He being an awful sod, he said I'd have to take them down, the ladder in my heart. Well, clearing all those bricks by hand, it seemed so very slow. So I hoisted up a barrel and secured the rope below. But in my haste to do the job, I was too blind to see that a barrel full of building bricks was heavier than me. So when I untied the rope, the barrel fell like lead, and clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. I shot up like a rocket, till to my dismay I found that halfway up I met that bloody barrel coming down. Well, the barrel broke my shoulder. As to the ground it sped, and when I reached the top, I banged the pulley with my head, still clinging tightly to the rope. Through this almighty blow, when the barrel spilled out half the bricks, fourteen floors below. Now, when the bricks had fallen, from the barrel to the floor. I then outweighed the barrel and so started down once more, still clinging tightly to the rope, my body racked with pain. When halfway down I met that bloody barrel once again. Well, the force of this collision, halfway up the office block, caused several lacerations and a nasty state of shock. Clinging tightly to the rope, gaining speed toward the ground. When I landed on those broken bricks that were all scattered round. As I lay there groaning, I thought I passed the worst when the barrel hit the pulley wheel and then the bottom burst. A rain of bricks came down on me. I hadn't got a hope. And as I was losing consciousness, I let go the bloody rope. Well, the barrel being heavier, it started down once more and landed right across me as I lay bleeding on the floor. It broke three ribs and my left arm, and I can only say, I hope you'll understand. Why I am not at work today.